Stan Goldberg is life-changing. He is the best of, of humanity. Stan Goldberg is Charles Ed. When Stan Goldberg arrived at Trails End Camp in 1960, he had no idea he had found his life's calling. My uncle did sports at Trails End Camp and said, bring Stan to camp. So I came here as a counselor. The son of a postman and secretary from a modest upbringing in Brooklyn, Stan fell in love with camp life. He soon convinced his new wife, Star, to join him as a counselor, and the rest is history. I said to Stan, maybe we could do this every summer, and who knows, maybe one day we'll own camp. Never really thinking it would come true. In 1986, Stan left his job as an assistant principal and bought Trails End, taking over as owner and director. The common ingredient is being there for one another and not being concerned with things, but being concerned with people. I'm proud of you. At 83 years old and still at camp more than 60 years later, Stan's recently handed the reins over to his daughter and son-in-law, with their children helping out as well. Chazan is my home. It's where I grew up. It's just love and respect. He makes people feel good. Freddie, would you hold it? I mean, why don't you hold the ball? It's magical what he does with the children that are here. You watch a child grow up from six or seven years old till 16. The impact is remarkable. For Stan, every person who passes through Trails End becomes part of his family. I never had a grandfather. Sometimes Stan calls me his grandson. And um, having that connection from someone that I never knew existed, I feel like I have a granddad. And Stan knows every member of his ever-expanding camp family. Come on, Jake. You're the only one whose name I don't know, Remy. <laughs> My dad will say, and you grew up on Miller Place, and your dad was a dentist. And he was like, people always ask me, how do you remember everyone's name? And he said, it's because you remember everyone in your family's name. The first Friday night of the summer, Stan says, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everybody, close your eyes. And think of somebody that's in your life now that you never knew existed. To honor Stan, his Trails End family arranged a little surprise for him. We figured today we would have Stan close his eyes. Close your eyes, Stan. Three former campers and counselors made the trip back to Trails End to tell Stan about the impact he's had on their lives. Stan Goldberg. Oh, my. <laughs> Great more. <Lord. laughs> I first met Stan in 1985. He was a 21-year-old counselor from Liverpool, England. Stan already knew my name. I started as a camper at Trails End in 1977. My dad was a camper in the 50s. I was lucky enough to be a camper when Stan became our boys' head counselor in 1968. Stan pulled me aside and said, you've got to work with kids. That little chat we had changed my entire destiny. I'm now a camp director up in New Hampshire, and we run the camp the Stan Goldberg way. In 1982, I met a camper waiter, Kenny, who I decided to marry. Our four children grew up at Trails End. Now our two daughters help run the camp. I'm so grateful to you for creating a place that three generations of my family call home. I truly believe that we're all better for having known Stan Goldberg. So I am fulfilled. I've written a good ticket, and I'm happy about it. What you can accomplish here in the summer is, is endless. That's it. Happiness. Oh, that's how beautiful. The place is magic. We should mention, by the way, we learned about this story. Our associate producer, Ben, grew up going to Trails End. Got to go back. There he is back in the day. Got to go back and interview Stan for this piece. Which Come is in, very Ben. Special. Come on in, Ben. Ben. ben, you said he was amazing. He's pretty great. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. What a guy! I mean, this was just the most special thing to be able to tell this story. So thank you guys oh, for it was helping us. Oh my God, Ben! Wow, what a lucky guy Let's you are. Let's sing to have camp gone songs there. later. <laughs> I would love to. All right, we thank love you, you ben. ben.